Charles gets pretty wide around these parts. And this is evidently the Haffenreffer walk. Ah, there's a fake trolley. There's a bunch of those. Real trolleys broke around the 1930s, all except for the green line. And it's various little flogging stuff. You can see the common is a different animal. It's just a big sprawling bunch of open grass with the sort of preciousness that attends the public gardens. You'll find all kinds of skanks here. It used to be a brisk dope dealing business, but I'm not sure if it's continued. And in the summertime, it gets really crowded as one of the principal public green spaces in downtown. There's another, I think that's a Civil War statue. I'm not sure. It's probably a cannon or two up there, I seem to recall. This is so ridiculous. They can't just have a stage. They need giant flat screen. TVs beaming bullshit at you 24 7. A carousel full of happy kids. What more could you want? Looks like an ancient one, lovingly reconstructed in all of its imperial era, late 19th century glory. Back when Boston amounted to something. <laughs> And this is the old skating pond, summertime mosquito pit. And our Imperial area era memorial thing. Ah, there's that landmine. This is actually another war trophy. It's a World War I era naval mine that came from the North Sea. It was part of a fairly successful program to blow things up. <laughs> it evidently ended up here through the North Sea Mine Force Association their little gift and it came to us on October 26th, no, October 20th, 1921. It comes complete with a squirrel. He's investigating the possibility of burying a nut there.
So we take our leave of the sea mine and stroll down this boulevard of sorts here, which ought to take us reasonably close to Park Street on the point where the Freedom Trail thing begins. Capital of the Commonwealth, the State House with its golden dome, never ending nonsense. Looks like people have stuff to peddle. Ah, yes, the Park Street complex is hoving to, yay. The hustler density is increasing exponentially. I'll see if I can't get a workaround going of all around all the importance. And find my way over to this freedom trail travesty. Oh uh, yeah, this is the plaza of many sculptures. In the waning days of summer, there's still some life to it. Ooh, we have a new exciting sculptural gimmick. I think it's about global warming. So, of course, it's hard to not endorse. Urban greening. This one is wind power. And this one seems to be what? Green communication. Boy, we got all kinds of things. This one is get involved. This one is green ovate. I think I know that. Black is the new green. Take simple steps and feel good. Now this must be tiding species adversity, encouraging you to take notice of nature's signs. If you can only tear yourself away from your stupid smartphone, long enough to do so. Oh, this was a mall named after the Marquis de Lafayette. <laughs> they really are trying to make something out of dumpy little Boston. You gotta hand it to them. Ah, my task has been accomplished. There's the splendid golden dome of that incredible hell pit of corruption and nonsense we lovingly call our state house the oldest standing legislature or one of them in the complex united states uh, what's the theme on this one new england's climate pledge uh, what do we have here? 
neutralize your carbon footprint. Yeah, if you could only stop getting your face in your smartphone for 20 seconds. Then here, what's the admonishment? Use public transportation. If you can only get away from the egocentric nonsense of being your little individual self in your little individual car. And finally, what does this one want from us? Mindfulness, yeah. In a nation full of self-absorbed assholes, we're expecting them to be mindful, yeah. Poor Rome has its fake Romans. We've got shills and tricorns. And here we are at the ostensible beginning of the Freedom Trail. 